Will. Don't worry, I'll get him home safely tonight, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. What's wrong? Are you doing okay? Does he talk to you? I figure he'll come around when he's ready. You are such a good friend. Family. Yeah. Come on. Jesus, come on. Get out of here. Go. Don't say Jesus like that, you douche. Don't be a douche, bitch. <laughs> So, uh, you doing okay? Yeah. Seriously. What? You know your mom is pretty worried about you. <laughs> I doubt that. She is. You know, I really don't want to talk about this. Okay, man, but I mean, I've been thinking about this actually over and over again now for a while. I figured maybe if I gave you a little space, eventually you'd come around, talk to me when you were ready. What? What do you want me to months. say? Look, I, I get it. I mean, <laughs> but... No, I, you don't know shit. Are you kidding me right now? I'm sorry. I just... I just... It's fine. Just... Don't say hate. That's something you can't take back. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do right now, but I'm really not in the mood for this. Okay. I'll drop it. On one condition. You come with me tomorrow. <laughs> Screw that. Don't you guys eat the heads off live chickens or something? Ha ha ha. I'm serious, man. I talked to the pastor about you. He really wants to meet you. No. <laughs> okay, 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 I'll go. Good answer. Ah, do you have any napkins or? Yeah. Here. What the fuck? Just... Just don't, okay? Come on. Let's go. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for such heavenly music this morning. Today we're facing a troubling passage from the book of Romans. Paul is explaining the consequences of a sinful and unrepentant life. I want to look at just a few lines. The wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of men who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Since they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, he gave them over to a depraved mind. They do this despite the knowledge that to do so means suffering death at the hands of an angry God. Sounds like Paul is talking to us in America today, doesn't it? He says to the Romans, and by extension to many in our morally corrupt world, that since they have willingly and forcibly rejected God from their daily lives, they all deserve death. Brother Paulson. <laughs> This is my friend, Will. William. Pleased to meet you. Benjamin's told me so much about you. I hope you were able to draw some strength from today's service. Yeah, thanks. Hey, brother, I was actually hoping I could talk to you about something. Certainly. Excuse us for a moment, William.
bold claims in your book here. It seems you particularly have some controversial views on the nature of sin. Yes, that's a subject I actually gave a sermon on yesterday. Sin is and has always been connected to humanity. Well, and God- in, in your book here, sorry, uh, I'm quoting from one of your passages. You say, those who willingly turn away from the face of God deserve nothing more or less than his wrathful vengeance. Uh, forgive me, Reverend, but it seems like you're saying that you should Hey, your dad's picking you up after... All units, please respond. We have a 105 at Central High School. Repeat, 105. No, I don't understand why we aren't sweeping the school. I mean, it's been hours. Let me in there. Calm down. Okay, don't try and calm down, but you've got to give me a few minutes. We've got to get the SWAT team and the bomb squad mobilized. I want snipers here, here, and here. Who the hell is this guy? FBI has more resources than we do. They can end this much quicker than we can. Besides, he's got jurisdiction. Sit down and you're gonna do what you're told. Because if you don't, then you're out of here. You are jeopardizing this mission. Alright, listen up, kid. This is Special Agent Fitzgerald with the FBI. We have got the place surrounded. There's no way in or out. But you come out with your hands up before anyone gets hurt. All of you, to the kitchen. Are you fucking deaf? Get in the kitchen! Now! Quick! All of you, faster, faster! You two, go! Shut these windows! Every one of them! Shut it! Go! of these attacks clearly suffers from a diseased and depraved mind. But violence like this will only increase as more and more people turn their backs on the Heavenly Father. Nobody fucking move, nobody say a word, you understand? I tried to make you understand. I tried to lead you to the Savior. I don't know you! Alright kid, listen up! I want to know what you want, I want a list of your demands. Because if I don't find out what's going on in there, we're going to bust these doors down, and it ain't going to be pretty. Fuck you! I'm tired of this! You got 30 seconds to get out and let me move! Do you want another group of rage on your hand? I told you you cannot bully this kid into a resolution. I don't give a rat's fucking ass. I know you don't. But my son is in there. And I'm not gonna let you fuck it up. Ben. Sweetheart. 
This is Dee. Yes, it's me, Ben. No, go away. I won't talk to you. Ben. This isn't how it's supposed to happen. We had it all planned out. Slow down, Ben. Who is we? No. 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 No, I can't. Okay, I can't. Ben. This crime slow down. I need you to breathe for me, Ben. Ben, take a deep breath. I need to calm you down so we can talk. Ben, remember when you were eight and you came to stay with us? That first night, you had a panic attack because your parents weren't there? Do you remember that? Yeah. Okay, do you remember what I did to calm you down? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna breathe together. I'm gonna count to five. For Christ's sakes, what are we doing, yoga? One, two, three, four, five, and let it out, okay? Let's breathe in. Okay. I need you to do that a few more times for me, just like that. Ben, I need you to tell me if anybody's hurt in there. No. These people are beyond help. What does that mean? Those who do such things deserve death. They rejected God. Why do you think you're the person to cast that type of judgment? Someone has to. Ben, this isn't the sweet, considerate boy that I know. What happened? Nothing. Some eyes were opened. What could be so bad that you'd attack people who <sighs> know your whole life? I am exacting God's vengeance on those who turned away from him. Ben, you're a smart kid. But you never would have been able to come up with something this audacious on your own. Ben, why on earth would you listen? Be foolish enough to listen to a man like Paul. He speaks for God. He speaks for God about like I speak for the president. Reverend Paulson is a good man. He's the one who paved my path to heaven. What did he promise you? What is your heavenly reward? He said I was destined to be great. The people would remember my name. <laughs> the 72 virgins. 72 virgins? It takes a pretty persuasive person to make people think that violence will help them to their heavenly path. I don't understand. I know you don't understand. You're only 17. That's how we got in. Ben, do you know what happened on September 11th? A bunch of Muslims came and blew up the Twin Towers. Because they hate our way of life. You know, Reverend Paulson actually told me that they don't even have the capacity to understand the one true God. That's an interesting take, but that isn't quite accurate. Reverend Paulson does a lot of picking and choosing from that book he takes so much stock in. He said. All three major religions have the same idea, Ben. What Paulson has done is he has he's instilled in you the belief that con artists have been using for years. He creates fear and anger. And then he tells you that if you, if you take these drastic actions, God will give you a heavenly reward. Do you know what the last word those men said on September 11th? God is great. They had people in their lives that fill their heads full of stories about their heavenly rewards too. I don't, I don't. 
You don't? Because you were never supposed to make it this far. Did y'all discuss what was supposed to happen next? That's because you were supposed to die. He told you that you were gonna make it to heaven, but he didn't tell you that it was gonna be a pretty quick trip. Do you know, Ben, where Reverend Paulson is right now while you down here surrounded by all these police officers? He's standing out front with cameras pointed straight at him. He didn't even wait. He didn't even wait for this situation to be finished before he pounced on it to get everything that he could get. Do you know he's telling those people that you suffer from a diseased and depraved mind? Why would he say that? Because he never really cared for you, Ben. Wake up! Don't lie to me! Ben, no! I want you to open this door right now. Stand down! Get him some help, okay? Oh, my God.